Good evening, everybody. Okay, Veronica. Es Sánchez. Okay, we, uh, good evening, everybody. How are you today? I hope that everything is okay in your life. And uh, welcome to the last week of this basic five. This is the last week we finished this level. And Hopefully, I hope, well, I hope you participate today, guys. Okay, let's start. Okay, today we are going to repeat topic. How to use should, but emphasizing according to the unit. What is the unit? Okay, the unit number four. Company procedures and policies. 
Okay, that is what is going to be emphasized. The use of should and shouldn't. In companies, procedures, and policies. Okay, what is going on on your company? What are the policies? What are the procedures you follow? You follow? Follow? That is what we are going to study in this unit. Okay, let's begin. Always, I begin with a review. Well, not always, actually. But usually, I used to begin with a review. And if you remember, last week, exactly on Friday, we studied some idioms. And you have some problems using the idioms. Okay, you have some problems using the idiom, so we are going to begin with a review in this moment. But let me see, because I want that one student do this. <clears throat> let me see who is in the class that can do this. Uh, Yulisa, I don't know if you are, are going to participate today, Yulisa. No answer. Okay, Marvin, you don't have a computer, right, Marvin? Marvin, you have a computer? Yes, I have been. It's okay. a little slow. Uh, what I wanted is that you share, that you share the screen with the presentation, with the PowerPoint presentation, and you are going to help me moving something in the activity. Can you please? I, I can try to check. Okay, the activity is this one. Okay, the next slide, this one. I want to stop sharing and let's see if you can. Le está fallando el, el, el internet, ¿verdad, Rocío? Sí, teacher, bastante. No, 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 a veces no le escucho lo que dice. Sí, yo creo que es el viento. Bueno, al menos hoy. Quizás sí, porque aquí está fuerte. Ok, you, you could do it, Marvin. Me estoy conectando desde la compu porque actualmente estoy en, la, en el celular. Ok. So I go to, while uh, Marvin enters, I go to explain again the activity. Tell me when you are ready to, to start sharing. Okay. okay. Here you have, okay. Here you have the, uh, the idioms. Okay, what you are going to do is complete the sentence with the correct part in which it complements. This is similar to the one that we did last week. Okay, for example, in number one, you have, I feel we popped in this moment. Why popped? She has a lot on her plate. Okay, 
the company scaled back my hours. I forgot our no anniversary and something has to connect with the idea. Tarkish kept their head above water. Okay, uh, this is a, a stress, but I didn't do it. <laughs> this is not me. The, the A, it, has, it doesn't have to have the, uh, that. Are you ready to share? Are you share? Uh, are you ready to share, Marvin? Estoy buscando el archivo. But is es your que... was in your WhatsApp? Sí, correcto. Ahorita estoy abriendo WhatsApp en la compu para poder compartir. If you do it, you have to do it uh, this way, right? Because in the way of presentation, you cannot move the squares, the boxes. My computer is a little easier because I can do this, right? I can do this and it's bigger. Okay, while uh, Marvin is uh, trying to share, you read the sentences and try to find the correct match. Una consulta, teacher. No entiendo yes. qué vamos a hacer ahorita. ¿Quién dijo eso, María Jesús? Verónica Sánchez. Ok, we are matching the sentences. One sentence is connected with the, the another sentence using the, the idioms. Ok, so... Uh, Marvin is trying to share the screen because I wonder he does this. But if he, you can't, Marvin, no problem. I'm gonna do it, but you have to tell me. You have to tell me which Ahorita is. Puedo tratar de, de compartir, teacher. Okay, so I'm gonna stop. Do it, Marvin. Okay. No sé si se ve bien. Yes, yes, yes. What okay. we are going to do is try to match. Okay, but we are going to try to do it by by the one that the your classmates say. Okay, but aha. Uh -huh. Okay, who found one? Change and control uno, right? Who found one? I will appreciate you help us. Good evening. Um, for example, teacher. Um, she has a lot of on her plate. Can match with. Um. I have a hard day. No le escuchamos, teacher. 
sorry, 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 sorry. Because a dog was barking a lot here in, uh, oh, sorry. And Marvin, do you know how to move the boxes? Because you have to move the boxes in a matching the correct ones. The first is according to you the with the last one. When the you when you have the four arrows, cuando se pone la señita de las cuatro eh, flechitas, ahí es que está en el punto de moverse. Uh -huh. You can move one instead of the other or whatever. So you say, I feel whip out in this moment, or I know you said eh, she had a lot of on her plate with, I had a hard day. I had a hard day. That is what you said, Marvin, but I don't know. Okay, you do, you try. I feel we out in this moment. I had a hard day. Is that okay? Is that the matching? Marvin, I don't listen to you. Um, hello? hello? I cannot listen to you. I am asking you that that is your first try. Okay, who said more? Maria Jesus, do you have another? Yes, teacher. Tell us, please, yeah. and Marvin is going to move it. Um, I'll try. Yes, <laughs> I forgot course. our anniversary. It uh, slipped my mind. Exactly. That's it. Okay, he joins and he joins. He try is trying to join it. Yes. Right. Okay, I don't know because I can account for with all the students in this moment. Let's see. Jacobo, do you have can you help me with one, please? Sometimes I tell you Jake and sometimes I go, but I prefer Hello, Jake. Hello, teacher. Yes, can you help me with one, please? Uh, no lo he hecho, but teacher. But no, nobody did it. Nadie lo ha hecho, ah. aquí lo estamos haciendo. Ah, ok. Yo en, porque estoy terminando de conectar. <ríe> Bye. Teacher. Yes, Veronica. It could be she has a lot on her plate. Her children keep her busy. Exactly. You got it. Her children kept her busy. Okay, Melissa, I see that you are there now. Can you please help me with one? Only two are left. The company scaled back my hours and Turkish kept their head above water. Teacher. Yes. 
Turkish kept their head above water um, ah. when the rescue teams helped them. Exactly. And by obvious reasons, the one that that are left are the companies came back my hour, they have enough stock. Okay, move it to the, yeah, exactly. So the sentences are, don't, don't uh, stop sharing yet. Wait a minute, I'm going to explain. Okay. The sentences are, I forgot our anniversary. It slips my mind. The company scaled back my hours. They have enough stock. Turkish kept their, their, that is missing an E. Their head about water. If you can correct it, uh, put in the, the E and erase the A with the, the stress. The A has the stress. And I don't know why it, it, it's like that because English no, it doesn't exist. Okay. Turkish kept their head above water when the rescue teams helped them. She has a lot on her plate. Her she kept her busy. I feel we proud on this moment. I had a hard day. Okay. Now, I made this exercise because it was exactly the homework that I asked you. I don't know if you did it. If you did it, you can answer. You could do this. Okay. If you didn't do it, that's why you don't understand. Because you don't know yet. You don't manage this yet. But, for example, here the idiom is, it slipped my mind. If we, this is used when you forgot something is, you forgot something or somebody forgot you. It doesn't matter who forgets the thing that something is forgotten. Okay, if something is forgotten. So here it says, I forgot our anniversary. What is forgotten? The anniversary, right? I slipped my mind. So, so you don't rem you didn't remember. That is why it here it says, you didn't remember. So the expression is, it is slipped my mind. And next, the company scaled back my hours. The idiom is scaled back once hours okay scale one uh, scale back once hours and in this case it's in the past right the company is scale back my hours they have enough stuff because uh when you say scale back my hours is that reduce reduce the time of working reduce the hours of working why do the company the, the company reduce the hours? Because they have enough stock. Okay. And this the the idiom is keep one's head above water, right? In this case is their head. Turkish kept their head above water. That is that survive, okay, so survive. And in this case, who survives? The Turkish. Why? Or why do we say that? When the rescue teams help them. Okay, that is the context. Here in the number four, the idiom is uh, have a lot on somebody's plate have a lot on somebody's plate. That is many activities to do. Very busy, right? People who has a lot of activities or who have a, a person who has a lot of activity. In this case, we say she has a lot of in her plate because her children keep, uh, keep her busy. That's why she has a lot of activities. 
because she has children and the children kept her busy. And here, wipe out. That is very tired, exhausted. And you say, I feel wipe out in this moment. I had a hard day. Okay. Uh, why the person is tired? Because the person had a hard day. That's why. Okay. Now I stop sharing, please. And I want to explain you more. I want to explain you this. Okay, here I have the attendance, but I am not going to put your attendance in this moment. <laughs> I just going to do uh, try to explain this. Because I always use a word processor to explain things. I haven't done it here before, but I used to do it. Okay. Um, I voy a explicar esto en español porque necesito que ustedes eh, lo comprendan y necesito también que ustedes abran su mente a esto de los idioms. Fíjense de que una cosa es como usar un idiom y cómo lo presenta en una forma de material, ¿va? Así como se le presentaron a usted, quizás a veces yo pienso que quizás por eso es que ustedes tuvieron problemas. Por ejemplo, en el, en el de Sleep One's Minds, Sleep one, One's Mind. Va, ese es el que le dijeron, va, el que estaba en el, en el, en el material que se le dijo. Entonces, what is the, what is the, Meaning of this? What is Forget the meaning of this? Uh -huh. Vaya, ahora bien. Cuando le dice sleep, ese es el verbo. ¿Qué hay que ponerle al verbo? Un sujeto. ¿Verdad? Yo puedo decir she. Puedo decir he. Puedo decir de cualquiera. Puedo decir un sustantivo, people. Puedo decir my friends. Cualquiera. Pero ¿qué, qué hacen esos? Se les olvida, va. Se les olvida algo, podemos decir. Entonces, ¿cuál es el verbo? Sleep, ¿verdad? Ese es el verbo. Y aquí está en presente. Sleep. Y aquí once mind sería sleep her her mind. Vaya, la, la olvidó a ella. Como te sirva. La de quién, a quién la olvidó. Porque once quiere decir de alguien. Como ahí está el apóstrofe S, es que está refiriendo que están hablando de alguien. En posesivo, entonces por eso vamos a usar aquí en posesivo. She, they, people, my friends, sleep her mind. Entonces, ella, ellos, cualquiera que haya sido el sujeto, la olvidaron a ella. Ok, eso quiere decir ahí, la olvidaron a ella. Ok, va. Another. Eh, let me see. Have a lot of, um, have a lot, uh, no, have a, a lot on one's plate. This one. Let me see. Mm -hmm, to have a lot on one's plate. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Tú es infinitivo, va. Está sin lo mismo. Le va a poner el sujeto. Pongámosle chi. Pero como no importa el sujeto, pero sí importa que nosotros veamos que el verbo have se use de la forma correcta, ¿verdad? Porque ahí es chi, tendría que ser has, ¿verdad? A lot on her plate. Porque ahí ella misma, ¿verdad? She has a lot on her plate. O sea, que está diciendo que ella tiene bastantes cosas que hacer. 
Porque eso es lo que quiere decir ese, ese idiom. To have a lot on one's plate, to have a lot to do. Vaya, ahora bien, yo puedo decir esta oración en cualquier tiempo. No solo es que así como está lo voy a usar, yo lo puedo decir en cualquier tiempo. Yo lo puedo decir en pasado. She had a lot on her plate. Puedo decir she, she's, she have had in present perfect a lot on her plate. ¿Se fijan cómo se puede jugar con el idiom? Yo puedo ponerle la persona que yo quiera y puedo usar el tiempo que yo quiera en el contexto que yo quiera. Veamos otro. Scale back my hours. Scale back my hours. Okay, well, what is the meaning of this? Scale. Once hours. Scale to a scale back once hours. To a scale. Aquí le puse bien solo, pero ahí es once. ¿Qué quiere decir de alguien, va? Vaya, aquí pongámosle otra vez el, el, el sujeto. Podemos decir workers. Scale. Back. The hours. O sea, ellos se les, a los trabajadores se les redujeron. Se les redujeron sus horas de trabajo, quiere decir, ¿va? a los trabajadores se les redujeron sus horas. Porque once quiere decir de ellos, o sea, es el posesivo, pero como todavía no tiene sujeto, por eso aquí solo dice once, pero se refiere de ellos porque estamos hablando de workers. Workers scale back their hours. Y ahí es donde va el, el, el contexto donde yo les decía, ¿verdad? The company... Consider that they have enough hours for now. Okay. Ahí yo puedo agregar una idea que me dé a entender que por qué yo estoy usando ese idioma. Okay. Then, puedo ponerlo en el pasado ese. Workers scale back their hours. Cera, cera. Puedo ponerlo con otras personas. Puedo poner como, como por ejemplo, she scale back. Aquí voy a cambiar ya con herba porque estoy hablando de ella. Hours. ¿Se fijan? Entonces, todos esos idiomas tenían un verbo. Lo único que ustedes tenían que poner era el sujeto. Y ya convertido en acción con el verbo. Ok, en el caso de, había uno que era el de wipe out. Ese, very tired. Ese no es verbo, ese es un adjetivo. Por lo tanto, usted le podría haber puesto así, como el que yo les puse en el ejemplo, I feel wipe out, she is wipe out, ok, algo así, verdad, que ella es porque es un adjetivo, and another that was, ok, stress out, ese también es un adjetivo, entonces ese como un adjetivo si sí lo podían haber puesto acompañado de un verbo, como feel, is, She feels stressed out. She feels stressed out because she had to work very hard yesterday. Or she feels stressed out because some friends are bothering the, her. 
etcétera, etcétera. Okay, eso es lo que. That is what I wanted to explain. Vaya, se fijan entonces. Lo único que ustedes tenían que ponerles era un sujeto y el, y el idioma es llevado a la acción porque es como un verbo. Un complemento que explicara un poquito más lo que era el idioma, que me diera a mí más información de que yo sabía que ese idioma estaba usado correctamente. Y pueden ponerlo en cualquier tiempo. Ahí todos están en presente, pero usted lo puede poner en cualquier tiempo. ¿Ok? Simple present, past, present perfect, present continuous. Eso no importa. ¿Ok? Y les explico esto porque el tema ya pasó. Pero yo vi que como que ese tema les, les costó a ustedes bastante. Y, y mi consejo es, practíquenlos. Los que ya vimos, Pónganlos en un contexto. Hagan las oraciones si no las hicieron. Y en aquí adelante, los que ustedes vean en los próximos cursos, o ustedes solitos, que ustedes se pongan a estudiar, porque eso es un hábito y un buen hábito que ustedes agarrarían. Ponerse a estudiar idioms para que ustedes vayan avanzando en su inglés. Y háganlo así. Pónganlo siempre en contexto. Hagan oraciones. O sea, ya sea mentalmente o escribiéndolas. Oraciones que pongan esos idiomas en contexto. Y así se le van a quedar. Si usted solo los lee en una listita, a usted no se le van a quedar. La única forma que los se le queden es usándolos. ¿Ok? Vaya, ese es el consejo que les quería dar porque sí, como que les costó aprendérselos. ¿Ok? That's it. <laughs> That's it, guys, and we continue with the topic today. Uh, the topic for today is the use of should. Okay, here we have some words. <clears throat> maybe you know the words. Maybe yes, maybe not. Okay, we have here warning, schedule, dress code, policy, drugs, I think so, be on time. Okay, I'm going to explain one by one in English. Warning, what is warning? When you make something bad in your work, you are late, you make a mistake with something in your company, you receive a paper which says, if you do this again, I'm going to fire you. Okay, for example, or a paper or the person, your boss can tell you, don't do this again. This is a warning. If you do this again, I will punish you. <laughs> Something like that. Well, the teacher says, I, I will, I'm going to punish you if you do something, if you do this again. Okay, that is the warning. A schedule, what is the schedule? Is the time assigned to work? For example, this your schedule of work can be from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You work eight hours a day. And the time begins from eight and finish to 5 p.m. So that is your schedule. Dress code, what is the dress code? Uh, the company has a dress code. Here we have English Corporativo, we have a dress code. We have to wear used clothes formally, formal clothes. That is the dress code. The way that the company says you should wear the clothes 
that you have to use at work. That is the dress code. Every company has a dress code. Okay, policy. What is a policy? Is something that you must do in your company. It's like a rules, right? The policies are like a rules. Things you have to do and things that you don't have to do. Those are the policies. Drugs, what are drugs? Okay, you know what are drugs. Okay, the word is very common, but I wanted to put it here because of the pronunciation. Drugs, drugs. Okay, I think so. When do you say, I think so? When somebody says something and you, uh, you believe the same. For example, somebody here says, uh, teacher, internet is failing these days. Internet in El Salvador is bad. You give your opinion. And I say, I think so. It's the same opinion, right? Yo pienso eso, right? Yo pienso eso. Be on time. When be on time is because you start working at 8 a.m. Be on time is be at 8 a.m. That is be on time. No late. No early. <laughs> no early. No late. On time, be on time. Okay, everybody, repeat, please. Warning. 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 Schedule. 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 Dress code. Dress code. Dress code. Policy, 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 rocks, rocks. I think so. I think so. I think, think, I think so. Be on time, be on time, be on time. Okay, Ana Silvia. <laughs> okay, I am seeing you. I am watching you in this moment. Can you tell me the words, please? Warning. Schedule. Uh -huh. Schedule. Schedule. Uh -huh. Schedule. Dress, dress code. Policy. Okay, here is pa policy. 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 It's not like a O, oh, it's like a ah, policy, okay, policy. Policy, I think, policy. Oh, okay, it's like a O oh, and an A at the same time, okay, policy, policy. Uh-huh, here? Drugs. 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 I think so. Okay, you have to sound the K, think. I think. 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 So. so. Mm -hmm. This? Be on time. Be on time. Marvin? Um, the first one is warning. Schedule. Dress code. Policy. Drugs. I think so. Be on time. Thank you, Marmy. Thank you, Edwin. Okay. Number one is warning. The schedule. The last call. Policy. 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 Drops. I think so. Be on time. Okay, your turn. <laughs> And by the way, congratulations, the ones that turn on the cameras. Okay, congratulations. Thank you very okay. much. I appreciate you do it. Okay, <clears throat> read the 
The words, please. Okay, teacher. Warning, sketch door, dress call, policy, draw, I think so, be on time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. He, today, the most that we are going to do is in, in the manual, not here. Okay, as I told you, this is a review. We already study the use of should. What is new uh, is the topic related with should, should. In this case, we are going to talk about policies and procedures in the company. And we are going to give advice according to that. Okay, when do you use should? How do we form statements, questions, and answer with should? Study the grammar reference chart below. Okay, affirmative and negative statement with should. Can you say, I should go home. You should go home. He, she, it should go home. We should go home. They should go home. Okay, remember that you use should, you say, Debería, right? Giving advice. Giving advice. When you say, I should go home, uh, you use should before the verb. Before the verb. Okay, I should go home. She should go home. No, no difference with the personal pronouns, with the subject. You use should with all of them, with all the personal pronouns. Uh, you, she, he, it, we, they, should. Okay, now the negative form is shouldn't. Should not or shouldn't. You say, I shouldn't go home. You shouldn't go home. He, she, it shouldn't go home. They shouldn't go home. And you see the same, the negative only you are not and you say the negative. Should is a modal auxiliary. And as a modal auxiliary, you always put first the modal auxiliary and then the subject, then the verb. Then you say, should I go home? Should you go home? Should he, she, it go home? Should we go home? Should they go home? Okay, I guess that this topic was clear last week, the week that we studied, it was clear. But for any case, I wanted to repeat the explanation. But if you have questions, about this, this is the moment you can do it. Questions, guys, related to the use of should and shouldn't? Questions with should? Doubts? Questions? Clear? Is it clear, so? What do you say, Ana Silvia? Is it clear? Yeah. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, we finished with the, the PowerPoint presentation for the moment. And now we are going to continue because today is the practice that you have to do. Okay, this was about the idioms. Okay, let's start with this conversation. Here there are two people, Bruno and Max. Okay, listen to the conversation, listen. Hey Max, look, 
I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Ah, well, it's a question, okay. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is that the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, after we practice, let us, let us answer this. Okay, question number one. What are some policies at Max company? What should a worker do if he, she makes a mistake? Okay, answer these two questions, please. Not no body tool to draw. The number one. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is one. <clears throat> they should shouldn't use drugs. That is one. Another. Uh, well, uh, in my company, you should not be late, be light. Mm -hmm. Podría ser. Wear the uniform always. Teacher, your microwave. <laughs> your microphone. <laughs> Do you say microwave, Marvin? Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm okay. a little crazy now. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, uh, I don't know if you listen to me what I said before. I I said that two policies we had already. Well, three with Marvin's. A worker shouldn't be late. Workers shouldn't use drugs. That is what Ana Silvia said. Now, Marvin said that workers should wear uniform. Always, right? We have three. That's it, or we continue with more? ¿Esas eran todas o, o, me fal o fal le falta alguna? Okay, we say... No. Oh, should wear uniform is good. Okay, it's okay. It shouldn't be late. Yes, shouldn't 
And this, should you notify your superiors? What do you say? Is that a policy? And the schedules are asking. Yeah, but it says, yes, you should. So it is a policy that you should notify your superiors if you do something wrong. For example, you make a mistake. Should you be quiet when you make a mistake or should you notify your superiors? What do you say, Marvin? What is your opinion in this part? You should notify your superiors <laughs> because can they advise yeah. and tell you how to do that things? Yeah, that is a policy that you should notify if you do something wrong. Uh, can you be thinking that you make the mistake and uh, you don't notify? You're say, can you say, esto? can you say, esto? and you quiet. Okay, so it's a good idea to notify. Okay, I guess that we have all of them. We have four, right? Should, okay, employees should wear a uniform, employees shouldn't be late, employees should notify if they make a mistake, and uh, they, the employees shouldn't uh, use drugs. Those are the policies. And the second question, what should a worker do if he, she or he makes a mistake? We already said that, this. But tell me, what should a worker do if he, she or he makes a mistake? We already said that. Okay, I want to listen to Maria Jesus. She hasn't participated this, in this moment. Maria Jesus, what do you say? What should a worker do if he, she or he makes a mistake? A mistake. Yeah. Oh. We already you should, said it. You, should, you should notify your superiors. Yeah, exactly. Okay, thank you, okay. uh, Maria Jesus. Okay, practice the conversation, guys. We are going to practice this conversation very hard today. Okay, everybody repeat. Hey, Max. Hey, Max. I'm going to put this. Hey Max. Hey Max. Hey Max. Okay. Hey Max. Look. Look. I want to know what policy you have in your company. I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? How are you, Max? How are you, Max? Well. Well. But when you say when you say well, you make a pause. Well, there are many oh. policies in my company. There are many policies yeah. in my company. There are many policies in my company. For example. For example, for example, employees should wear a uniform always. For example, employees, employees should, should wear a uniform always. Always, always. Well, well, well in my well, company, in my company, in my company, you shouldn't. You shouldn't be, be late. late. If you be do late. this, if you do this, if you. Okay, and when you pronounce you, you don't say you like I yeah. You say you, you, you. So you say few, few. If you if you do this, 
If you do this, if you do, if you do this, if you do this, you receive a warning. You receive, you receive a warning. You receive a warning. Warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? And should and you notify you notify, notify your superiors? Notify if you your superior if you if, if you if you do something you, wrong do something wrong something wrong wrong, wrong. yes you should wrong. Yes, you yes, should. You should. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. I see. I see. I see. Another policy we have at my Another work. Policy. Another policy we, we have, have at my have work, work is the use Another of drugs. Is the use of drugs. Is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. Do drugs. Nobody, nobody, nobody. What is nobody, guys? Nobody. When I say nobody, nobody. it's no people, right? Nobody. Nobody no. should do drugs. To, to we do drugs. also we also we also have that policy in my work. We also have the policy uh, to in my work. We also have that True. policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it. Do it. Do it. You, you shouldn't, shouldn't do, it. do it. I think. I think. So I think too. too. I think so too. Okay, I want to read it again faster. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in the company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do this. No, no, you shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, guys. If we, I, I expect that all of you have the manual, but if you don't have it, it is time to take a picture of the picture because you are going to go to the breakout rooms in this moment. Ready? Are you ready? Okay. And we are going to do the same as some days ago. I'm going to make pairs and you practice the conversation with your partner. Make the two roles. Okay, remember there are two people in the conversation. There is Max and Bruno. So you take the role of Max first and then the role of Bruno. The two roles. Okay, hace usted los dos papeles, right? Practice the conversation with the partner. I give you some time, then I switch roles. Then I switch the partner, okay? So be ready because I want to change the partner, but I need to see who are participating as usually. Let me see you make seven.
Yes, Silvia. Okay, hello. Hello, teacher. Is it Veronica participating? Pues aquí estamos esperándola. No sé si está activa. Es... Veronica Lisset Serna, are you here? Okay, so I want to move you. Unity Supervisor Rocio, I haven't. Uh, are you going to uh, participate in a conversation? Yes or no? Because you said that you are oyente today. Usted dijo que hoy va a estar de oyente, por eso no la puse. Okay. <laughs> Rocio, always do this. Uh -huh. Vaya, ¿quién, ¿Quién va a ser Bruno? Ah, okay. <laughs> quiere... de three. Carlos. Comenzamos o comenzamos usted y yo, María José. No, María de Jesús. I see another policy. We have at my word is the use of drugs. Nobody shoot the drugs. No, I see another police. Police, uh, we have a Should wear uniform await. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be like. If you do this, you receive a warning. And, okay. And you, you... Hello, guys. I sent here Marvin because uh, the person who I sent to him, uh, 
He abandoned him. <laughs> He's alone. Okay, Marvin, you can participate here. Okay, thank you. Ah, aquí está el niño. <laughs> Help me with the pronunciation, Marvin, here, okay? Help me, please. Can you? Who is here? K22. Okay.
Hello, everyone. Okay, I sent you here to practice the conversation. Are you here, guys? Yes, teacher, I am here. Acabo de, de venir. Monica and Veronica Lisette Serna. Okay, they don't answer it. <laughs> so, so I sí. lo voy a mandar. I am con alone, teacher. Lo voy a mandar con otro que, que sí están participando. Okay, eh, okay teacher. We have at my work in the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. Is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have the policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it.
Hi, teacher. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, yes. yes. Ese va. Get dressed es como vestirse, ¿verdad? Yes. Pero wear también. Wear. Ajá, wear. Uh -huh. What is the difference? Uh, one is the action of que dress es vestirse, right? And uh -huh. where is vestir? Ah, como llevar puesto. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's similar to say use. In some contexts is use. En algunos contextos ah. se usa como usar. O sea, cuando se dice where está, está usando o usa. Pero mm. también viste, ¿verdad? Sí. Que sí. dress ah. es se viste. Ah, ok. Gracias, Entonces, teacher. La persona se está poniendo la ropa, se pone la ropa. Sí, sí. Ok. Gracias, teacher. Ok. 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 Only 13 people. Se me escaparon como 3 o 4, algo así. Okay, yeah, let's continue, guys. Uh, I'm going to pack the tenants in this moment, say present. Okay, say present. Hey, Andrea Michel. Do you listen to me? Andrea Michel. I remember she was in the class. Ana Rocio. Ana Silvia. Uh, do, do you listen to me, guys? Because nobody's answering. Yes, teacher. Like, uh, I am listening to uh, you. Ok, Ana Silvia. Ok, maybe. Valmore. Valmore. Present, present, present. Carlos Emilio. Present teacher. Edwin. Present teacher. Edwin, Emerson. Emerson. Ok, teacher. He's having dinner. <laughs> Eric? Yes, fast. fast. <laughs> Jaco? Present teacher. Jorge Ismael? No, right. Uh, Yulisa? Present. Maria Elena? No, no, it's uh, Maria Jesus? Present. Mario Oswaldo, he was right. Marvin. Marvin. Present. Melissa. Present. Monica. Oscar. Present teacher. Veronica Lisette Serna. Veronica Lisette Sanchez. And our dear Wilfredo is not in the class. Okay. How do you how do you feel today, guys? Do you feel 
Under the weather? Do you feel under the weather today? <laughs> How do you feel happy? I hope that you feel happy. Oh, <laughs> nobody say anything. Come on, guys. Yo a veces he creído que ustedes me tienen miedo, fíjense. Somos tímidos, teacher. Es lo que yo he llegado a creer que me tienen miedo. Somos muy tímidos, por eso. <laughs> oh, no, no deberían. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be quiet. You shouldn't be shy. You shouldn't be talkative. Talkative people. You know what is talkative? Talkative is the person who likes to talk a lot. Okay, guys, uh, continue with the practice today. We have a lot of practice. So I want to explain the next. <clears throat> okay, we already practiced the conversation and I think that it was a good practice. Okay, now, according to the manual, okay, you say, eh, use the model bird shoot for a strong advice. Okay, as I told you, you say, it's, when you say you should, that means that you are giving a recommendation. You are giving a, an advice. A structure, subject plus should plus verb plus complement. Affirmative statements. You should wear a helmet inside the factory. That is a policy, right? That is a policy in companies in general that you should wear a helmet inside the factory. If you don't wear a helmet, some can be dangerous inside. Okay, it can happen an accident. Next, you should be on time every day. That is a policy too. You, be should, you should be on time every day, every day. That is always. Negative statements. Employees shouldn't smoke in the facilities. It's also a policy. You shouldn't smoke because it can happen a fire. Okay, we should not forget to wear the uniform. Here you can say should not or shouldn't. We shouldn't or should not forget to wear the uniform. If it is a policy that you have to wear a uniform in the, your company, you should do it. Now, next exercise. Here you have you should to, you should to write sentences about the policy in your workplace using the words in parentheses. In parentheses, you have my schedule, my dress code, attend trainings, sleep in work hours. So according to your company, you should write your policies related to this, right? How about the policy referring to schedule? How about your policy referring to dress code? How about the policy referring to attend trainings? And sleeping work hours, okay? Write the sentences, please. Teacher. Yes. Policies no es policía, verdad? Es políticas. Yeah, it's policies, políticas. Something like a rules. Rules in your company. Ah, okay. Similar. Uh -huh. Y parentes, ¿qué es, teacher? Eh, paréntesis. Ajá. Ah, ya, paréntesis. Ah, de paréntesis. <laughs> Bien obvio, pero lo siento. Okay, don't worry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Schedule es cronograma, ¿verdad? Yeah, something like that is <clears throat> the schedule is which reflects the hours, the time uh -huh. working. Ah, una, ajá. Y podría ser, este, we have to, ah, no, eh, we should, uh -huh. we should, we should to make a shoulder. No. Emerson, después de should no hay un to, oiga. Ah, después de should, should inmediatamente usa el verbo, sin ningún to. Ah. Should, where, should, where, should, should, where, should, eat, should forget. Okay. Entonces podría ser we should make. Uh -huh. We should make what? We should make a schedule. Uh, o como se schedule. A schedule. Schedule. Eso. Schedule. Eso, teacher. Ajá. Sí, va. Bueno, más o menos. Your own schedule. O sea que eso sería una política de su trabajo que usted tiene que hacer el horario. Ah, no, 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 no. No, ¿verdad? Tal vez cumplir, va. Sí, sí, sí. O trabajar cierto horario, ¿ok? También podría hacer oraciones con should, ¿verdad? En el mismo schedule, no necesariamente todos tienen que hacer con should. Yeah, you should. I don't know why it says two. I can't. You, ah, uh -huh, you should. You should write sentences. That you, you should. Ya regresaron unos que me habían escapado. Ya voy a ver quiénes son. Okay. No, no, no. Ah, yes, Marius one. <laughs> Marius one. Okay, so George is in the class now. I'm going to see who is going to be with me today. Oscar, I guess it's your time.
What do you say, Oscar? La número tres debo decir yo. Es... <laughs> no, no, Oscar. <laughs> Eh, es, su, es su turno de quedarse hoy. Ah. ah, no, pero dígame la tres entonces, sí. Ah. <ríe> Número tres, I should go attend trainer uh -huh. every month. Is... You say I should. I should, ajá. Uh -huh. I, I should, should go. Should go, go. Should go, go, ajá. Uh -huh. Attend. Training every month. Attend a training every month. Every month. Uh -huh. Is real? Is true? Hmm. Is true this? But you say I should attend. Only I should attend, right? Only I should attend. Okay. Ah, okay. I should sí, attend a uno. training every month. <clears throat> Okay, Ooh, thank you. Okay. Good participation. Thank you. Tengo la uno, teacher. Okay, but more number one. Tell me about more. You, you should rest, rest my schedule. <laughs> schedule. Okay, you should the, the verb, the verb. Can you repeat it, please? Respect. Rest. My... Rest. Respect. Ah, respect. Uh, respect, respect. My schedule. You should respect my schedule. My schedule. Ah, uh, okay. So, because your boss, your boss doesn't respect your schedule. And then you say, you should respect my schedule. <laughs> Good, one more. Teacher, creo que la que ha puesto en la dos es de la tres, o no? Ah, yes. I need more glasses. I need a new glasses. <laughs> I don't know if I can. No, I cannot move it. I have to erase it. And then I got to. I should. In. Trainings every month, something like that, right? Every month. Yes. I sure yo tengo where... la cuatro. Thank you, Yulisa. Thank you. I appreciate. Okay, uh, tell me. We shouldn't sleep in war hours. Sleep. In work hours. But I I do it. Sometimes I do it. But we shouldn't. Another who wants to tell me the number two? The number two teacher can be um you never forget your dress code. Because if you do, you can receive a warning. You do it, you will receive a warning. A warning. 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 Something like that. You never forget your dress code. If you do, if you do it, you will receive a warning. Good, good ideas. I, I, I see that this kind of exercise you like it. Well, we have a few minutes, but we are going to try to do this. Okay. I would, I would like to do this share, uh, record, a conversation, but actually we don't have time. But you are going to do this in number five. Okay, get in person, discuss about the policies that you have in your company. 
Okay, but I want to make trios, no couples. And you write 10 policies you have in your company, but sharing the group, sharing the group. Remember that if you are in a group, you have to, uh, all of you have to participate, not only one. Okay, only one is going to write, but uh, all, all of you have to participate. Okay, I'm going to make the group of three and I hope that you be in the group that oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do it better for, let me see how many are you, let me see, 16, 40, yes. Okay, you are just going to write your sentences in your notebooks or you are gonna share? Hola. Uh, some, of you, some of you have a computer. Do you have a computer? Any of you? Tienen alguna de ustedes computadora? No, teacher. Ninguna. I'm not. So do it on your notebook, but try to share ideas. Okay. See you. ¿Qué piensas, Jacob? Si ya una regla. Ah, eso sería una regla. Teacher. Uh -huh. Sí, eso sí. Teacher, yes, yes, yes. Podría ser you shouldn't uh, uh, ah, you shouldn't array later. Así se uh, escribiría. You, you shouldn't uh, but I remember that you have something related to this. You should come on time, right? So you shouldn't come late. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't come late. As you shouldn't uh -huh. array tarde. Yeah. Later. Yeah, uh -huh. late. No, late. You late. shouldn't come late to work. Something like that. Ah, ¿y por qué late y no later? ¿Cuál es la diferencia, teacher? Uh, later es luego, ¿verdad? Later is más tarde. Ah. Uh -huh. But late is tarde. Ah, uh, ok. You shouldn't be, pues, you shouldn't be late. Ah, pues eso you sería shouldn't be late, it's better, no come. It's, you shouldn't be late. You shouldn't, shouldn't. You should be on time. Hi yes. teacher, yes, I need yes. you, I need your help. Yes, I, tell me. I, I asking about if I can use wear a mask. For yes. example, a, pol a 
policy in my company, uh, all employees use a mask. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. That's that's good. You can good. use wear. You can use wear a mask. Okay. Employee Thank you. should wear a mask. Wear a mask. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. George, you are out. Que dijimos con Alejandro de que de no compartir información podría ser you shouldn't share uh, about the information of the company with others uh -huh. porque es como que prohibido uh -huh. you, you can have confidential information hey. Okay. hey Alexandra you're here now hola teach nombre a ratos estoy participando teach <laughs> En la, en la conversación creo que participé sí, ahí estuve participando okay. es que creo que cuando pasó lista le dijo Andrea por eso no contestaba ah, ah bueno ok en realidad no escuché, no escuché quizás estaba, bueno, presté atención en otra cosa que en mi casa y no presté atención pero presente, teacher por eso, por eso. <risa> eso también no ver no usar el celular hay algunos hay algunos ah. hay algunos si les ponen no usar el celular yo sí que hay tienen locker de phone también you mm -hmm. should see the girls ah verdad <risa> you shouldn't see the girls you are very funny Emerson But, Thank you, teacher. Pero ese es lo que más hace usted. Uh, I try. <laughs> Ni lo mencione porque lo van a, le van a poner una warning. <laughs> <laughs> no, teacher, si mis compañeras tengo. <laughs> no le creo. Teacher, entonces, oh, una pregunta. ¿El should se podría ocupar para hacer normas así de trabajo? Como no deberías, pero no se traduce no debería, ¿verdad? Porque yes. entonces también podríamos ocupar el no. al lado, que usted no. nos enseñó. Ajá, Pero Shule sí debería. No, ajá, no deberías. No deberías. Ah, ajá. Y el al lado es permitir, ¿verdad? Permitir. Ajá, permitir. Allowed. permitir, que no está permitido, está permitido. Ajá. No es lo mismo, porque uno es como que le dice que, está, que le permiten o no le permiten, y esa es una sugerencia, es una, eh, un consejo. Ajá. The should es un consejo, es un recommendation. Quiero ver, o sea, una recomendación, digamos, de un call center sería, este, not tardar, ¿cómo sería, teacher? Later, you, no, you late. You shouldn't be late. The same. El último que dijeron, you shouldn't be late. Ah, you shouldn't, shouldn't. Late, you shouldn't late, ¿verdad? Pero usted dice que no debería de tardarse en la llamada. Eso quiere decir. Ajá, in the call, ¿verdad? The... Sí, no crea de que como yo ya sé el trabajo de, de call center, yo ya sé más o menos. Este, ah, me imagino, teacher. Eh, you should, que se debería de llamar, en, eh, tardar en la llamada. You sí. shouldn't make your phone call longer. Uh, co you repítalo, teacher. Uh -huh. You shouldn't make your phone call longer. Your phone call. Así. You shouldn't. You shouldn't make your phone call longer. Long, uh, así como... long, long. 
longer. Long. De largo. Oh. Long. ER. Longer. You. You. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Long. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Long, brother. You shouldn't long. You shouldn't make your phone call longer. For the call of the contrary, you should. <laughs> you should make that your phone call last few minutes, last fast. You uh, should uh, make on. a fast phone call. You should make mm -hmm. a fast phone call. Tú deberías ser rápido. Hey, ¿Cómo diríamos? Fast. Uh -huh. No llegar borracho al trabajo. <ríe> Teacher, pero ¿por qué? Porque ahí pone el make. Eso no lo entiendo. Ha de hacer. Hacer. Ha de hacer. Ajá. Ah. Yeah, hacer. ¿Por qué I should you make? ¿Qué call... hacer? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo va a ser la llamada? Hacer, llamada eh, hacer la llamada. Hacer la llamada. Ahí no ah. se usa do de phone call, sino que make. Porque es una acción física. Ustedes saben que hay un make y un do. Pero cuando es físico es make. Y cuando es intelectual es, es do. Mm. Ok, aquí le toca make. Uh -huh. Por eso si se dice you should make. Yeah. You should make. Pass you should play, the... play in... <laughs> Emerson, that is... Emerson plays video games in the work in his work. Don't not teacher. <laughs> How do I know that? I I know. I guess. I don't I, do I, it. Your children come to work drunk. Uh huh. Quiero ver otra prohibición. Ah, no llevar perros. But remember sería? that it's a prohibition, but it's a, an advice. An advice is that the, you should follow that policy. Policia. Don't come to work. Don't come to work wrong. That is a policy. But my ah. advice is you shouldn't come to work wrong. You shouldn't mm -hmm. come to work wrong. Hello, how is everything here? Hello, teacher. Do you have your policies ready? Teacher, solo las íbamos a discutir y las íbamos a escribir, vea. Uh, if you want it, you, you should only discuss and write on your notebooks. But mm -hmm. it, we we don't we don't have to make a presentation. You shouldn't mm -hmm. make a presentation. But uh, tell me some some of the one that you said. I don't understand. Dígame una de las que dijeron. You should drink coffee. Don't really know. Oh, this I don't like it. A un compañero le coffee. Uh, yo no me gustaría trabajar ahí. No, ni a mí. <laughs> loser, you say, we say loser. <laughs> loser the <laughs> boss. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Because in my work, I drink a lot of cup of coffee too. Hey, yo. Used to drink two cup of hey, Melissa is here, Melissa. Hay unos algunos alumnos de aquí de este curso, nunca los conocimos, va. 
A ver cómo era sí, Melissa. Ah, no, como no, Melissa sí. ¿Cómo no? Algunas veces pienso la cámara. Es que lo que pasa es que cuando la conecto queda toda pixeleada, por eso es que no me gusta encenderla. Sí, es verdad, yo me acuerdo que sí tenía problemas con eso. Ok, tell Edwin, what are some policies you have in your company? And some okay. advice for that. Okay, uh, they they shouldn't smoke. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't drink alcohol. Sorry. You shouldn't drink alcohol. You shouldn't drink alcohol. Okay. You, sh you shouldn't smoke. You shouldn't drink alcohol. Something that you should, Carlos? They shouldn't take home office for many days. Explain me that, please. <laughs> Ese take, no sé si está bien puesto uh -huh. ahí, teacher. De tomar, pero no sé. Uh, take. Work home. Yes. De, se lo voy a repetir. They shouldn't take home office for many days. Take home office. <laughs> lo que quiero Como decir. No entender que no, no debe tener muchos días de trabajo en casa. Que tiene yes. que tener como un límite, algo así. Yes. Pero el verbo tener eh, no sería take, sería otro. Pero en qué contexto sería eso? O sea, nosotros tenemos ciertos días de home office o teletrabajo, ah, entonces no puede tomar más de esos días. Eso no puede es tomar que... más de los que ya les programaron. Sí. Ah, ok. You shouldn't Pero ese take... tomar... No, you pues... shouldn't take, you shouldn't take... Eh, more schedule hours or more schedule yeah more schedule time for online work online or office work you say tele trabajo What, what word do you say? What word do you say? ¿Qué palabra le, le dicen cuando va a hacer esa acción? Ocupan dos. Uno le dicen home office y otro le dicen teletrabajo. Ah, ok. So, home office. Don't take more home office than it is scheduled. Don't take more home office than... It is scheduled. No tome más horas de las que ya están programadas. Uh -huh. more, don't take more home office than is scheduled. Do you understand? <laughs> don't take more. But it's take. Take. Yes? No, Carlos. Y yo veo que está, lo, cuando usted me lo dijo yo me quedé perdida y ahora usted sí no no le comprendo esa última parte teacher que le está le está agregando ok don't take more home office ese sí sí dan de la que dan es una t h a n it is schedule que está programada uh -huh. uh -huh. it is schedule schedule con e de al final va schedule ¿Es que la, la palabra schedule se puede usar para decir horario pero también programación o programar pero... Pero si Está quiero programada. referirme a días, um, por eso ya he puesto. You shouldn't take 
more days than it, than are the ones that are scheduled. Es más complicado todavía. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, don't take more days than the ones that are scheduled. Don't take more days. Yes? Yes. More days. Don't take more days than the ones are scheduled. Okay, I'm gonna leave this in also the class. Oscar, don't forget, don't go. No se me vaya a ir, no se me vaya a ir, Oscar. No, no, aquí estoy. Ok. No sé, aquí ya vienen todos. They are here now. Pues me gustaría felicitar a todos los que en este grupo vienen a clases y participan, ¿verdad? Los felicito porque eso es bueno para ustedes. A medida van ustedes practicando, van perdiendo el miedo. Si usted nunca practica, nunca va a perder el miedo. Para hablar, para aprender a hablar inglés, lo primero es perder el miedo. <coughs> Equivocarse, todos nos equivocamos. Y es parte del proceso, o sea que por eso jamás usted deje de participar. Tenemos una semanita porque nos hace falta, aprovechémosla. Tengamos como la mejor disposición de participar y de trabajar activamente. La clase la hacen ustedes, no la hago tanto yo, ¿verdad? Y si ustedes se fijan, hay bastantes prácticas de hacer conversaciones, o sea, son ustedes los que actúan. Ok, y otro recordatorio que esta semana les llega un link ¿verdad? para hacer una encuesta. Y ya saben, ¿verdad? Esa se hace aquí en la clase, el último día. Y los invito a que sigan trabajando en su plataforma, que quede completa. Ok, algunos hasta ya el examen final hicieron ya. Ok, eh, solamente eso. Ok, have a nice night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow, G Maria. Good, Good, Good night. Good night. Bye. <clears throat> Bye, teacher. Bye. <laughs> no, no, yo me quedo. Pórtese bien, Emerson. Ok. <ríe> Me alcanzo a escuchar. Ok, ¿qué sí, tal, quizás. Oscar? Bien, gracias a Dios por acá, Lee. Sí, mire. Todo bien. Eh, dígame qué, qué no le quedó claro de la clase de hoy. De hoy específicamente. Uh -huh. ¿De esta clase? Sí. Fíjense que en esta clase, bueno, la entendí un poco más, más de que la anterior, ¿va? Ajá, porque es acerca <risas> de, ese, de esa condicional, de, debería, deba. Ajá, should, you should. Ajá, should. Estaba, bueno, sí, lo que tengo que repasar, fíjense que eh, sería como la, la estructura, ¿va? Sí. De esta como de las otras, otras clases que hemos 
eh, sí. he visto con usted. Presente sí perfecto, me... El presente perfecto era de practicar bastante la estructura. Ajá, y, sí. Y esa no, no le, y esa no tuvo problemas usted con el presente perfecto. Bien, como no, sí. Que fíjese que al final en líneas generales tengo que repasar de todos los temas, creo yo. Porque ¿Y qué como... tal la plataforma la está haciendo? Sí, la estoy haciendo, ah, eso sí. ¿Y cómo, en qué sí. práctica va? Bueno, de esta semana no me queda. Uh -huh. De ahora hasta el viernes. Y el examen al final. Uh -huh. Entonces, cuando va llenando, le toca ver los videos. Sí, veo los videos. Y si no, me apoyo de otros, digamos, ¿Cosas? artículos de internet. Ah, otros recursos. Así es. Como para tomar ideas. Uh -huh. Yo le, le voy a recomendar algo personalmente, va, porque según sí. lo que yo puedo observar de usted. Eso de repasar bastante la estructura, es, vea usted el, cómo está conformado y haga oraciones. Ajá, ese es buen punto. Y luego, porque así se le va a quedar la estructura, haciendo oraciones. Este, el otro punto es, vea la parte donde se está practicando la pronunciación y usted repita, repita, repita. Y luego, después que ha practicado pronunciación y ha practicado estructura, lleve esa práctica a, a oral a oraciones en forma oral uh -huh. estructure bastante digamos un tema, haga bastante ejercicio pero dígalos dígalos bastantes veces porque sí, con eso de... el, ese es el problema que yo he notado que le cuesta bastante estructurar a la hora de decir las cosas y la pronunciación es correcto decir esas dos cosas siento yo que fallo ¿eh? Uh -huh. He tomado algunas, algunos momentos para de poder, digamos, escuchar música en inglés es para captar la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Ah, pues esas son mis, digamos, debilidades respecto a, sí, a la es lo, que, digamos, es lo que yo le, le puedo aconsejar. Ah, eh, chévere, sí. Ajá, vea la estructura, agarraciones. Uh -huh. eh, vea los videos donde se practica la pronunciación, porque en todos los videos siempre practicamos un nuevo vocabulario. ¿va? Sí, y, así es. Y la estructura. Uh -huh. eh, oiga ah, esa pues. parte y usted repase, repase, y luego diga las oraciones así en voz alta. De la estructura que ya estudió con el vocabulario que ha estudiado. Uh -huh. Dígalo bastante veces en voz alta. Hoy que este, se termine este curso y... Comienza el otro, yo creo que dejan una semana, creo yo. No, no se ha fijado si dejan una semana, más o menos. Hasta dos semanas dejan, fíjese, para poder dar el nuevo. Ah, al nuevo, vale. digamos. Vale, entonces, en ese tiempo, comience uno que otro día para practicar un ratito, porque no es cuestión de que ya solo porque no se está en clase ya no se va a practicar. Ah, no, pues sí, eso sí, es parte de la enseñanza también. Ajá, de uno, entonces... ¿no? Eh, Ahorita lo que le aconsejo es de que termine la plataforma y, y practique lo más que pueda, pero en vacaciones, así como yo le digo, no necesariamente viendo los videos ya de la plataforma, porque yo creo que se cierra. ¿va? Sí, se cierra. Ajá. Ajá, entonces eh, puede ver videos. Ajá, sí. Y de ahí de la parte, usted Para hablaba que... de, de los verbos también, ¿va? que ese es como la... La riqueza del voto. Sí, tiene que usted este, oírlos, memorizárselo. Ese es bastante de memorizar. Sí, y ponerlos es. en contexto. Es que yo, quis, yo los estoy tratando de que ustedes aprendan a poner las cosas en contexto. Uh -huh. Porque Ajá, solo, así, es. solo así es que se les va a quedar los verbos, los, las frases idiomáticas que vimos. Así como tipo... Que usted se las aprenda de memoria y no las use en un contexto, así no se le van a quedar. Ni sí, la claro. puede entender, menos. Menos. Ni la puede entender. <ríe> Entonces hay que tratar de ponerlas en, como en un contexto, en una situación que usted está platicando esto. Imagínese usted, Ajá. está platicando con alguien y, es, y cómo usaría esa frase. ¿En qué momento? ¿Cómo? ¿Qué es lo que le tendría que decir a la otra persona? ¿En qué situación tendría que estar para que usted la dijera? Eso es un proceso mental, entonces usted lo comienza a hacer y puede escribir oraciones. 
Esa es una buena práctica. Sí. Y lo de las... Sí, yo lo haré. Verse, racial verse, lo mismo. Lo mismo. Tiene que usted hacer oraciones en contexto. Y imaginarse usted la situación, escribirla y después decirla. Si usted sigue este consejo que le estoy dando, ya va a ver cómo va a mejorar. Sí, claro. Muchas gracias. Entonces voy pero a poner quiere el bast, Pero quiere bastante eh, eh, estudio personal. No, pues sí. Es parte de ella. Uh -huh, porque hay gente que sí se ha fijado que como que no le cuesta rápido. Van avanzando. ¿va? Rápido, pero sí, así es. no todos son, tenemos la misma, la misma eh, velocidad. Y el mismo tiempo, ¿va? ¿Vale? Eso también eso molesta el tiempo. Sí, así. Entonces, Ajá. pero en mi caso, en su caso personal, yo eso le recomendaría. Y ya va a ver. Muchas gracias. ¿Cómo va a mejorar? Sí, lo, lo haré entonces. Muchas okay. gracias. That's it. Oscar, have a nice okay. night. Ok. Good night. Buenas noches. Bueno.